How that microphone sounded? It sounded great though. Check, check, Turn check. Down a little bit. Turn my eyelids up. Drinking this hot water and <laughs> oh, I see. You need to still worry about me, man. It's a goddamn shame, man. Step it up. The Great Escape, legendary album, man. It took us a lot of time to do it. So we made sure the details was on point. Exquisite. He the alchemist. The link up was legendary, the beast was crazy. I learned a lot in the process and we made a, a great project, man. It's my good friend. We outside tonight? Yeah. I'm in the booth, I'm shadow boxing. Mm -hmm. You know, in the vocal box. <laughs> I've been rapping before even anything. That was like my first love. When he saw me mumbling when I was, when the beat was playing, he was like, what you got there? Yep. yep. So it was just like one of those days in the studio. Mm -hmm. Now, Good job. That wasn't even supposed to be on the album, it was random. It was done. Yeah. And he played the beat. He played the beat one time in Malibu. We was vibing. Yeah. We both had to jet overseas to do some shows. So we did we kind of forgot about this. Then we uh, was in the studio again. He played it. I said, Fuck it. Let me go in the booth. I never go in the booth. I'm not a booth guy. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so I went up in there, I just, you know, did my little shit, kept it simple and he came in there and, and put the icing on the cake. And you feel the energy at the show. We did a little small thing in New York. It came on, he lights the camera. I'm like, hey, I'm gonna fall back. The trip for me is seeing like fans say the words. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like yeah. I, now I know how you feel, yeah, like yeah. how rappers feel. When yeah, you, yeah. It, it's kind of odd for me. Yeah, I got buff from baggage in the work. I got muscles now. So he kept it simple, but real powerful. Every word, every line made sense. It was a movie scene. You can hear the verse. That's my favorite verse of the album. I know I'm gonna get Larry to do what he's gonna do, but I also want to make the Sonics to yeah. fit. I've been wanting to work with a lot of artists. I just was pumping our music very fast. So I was like dropping it and recording it and dropping it. With this one, we had time. See y'all in a minute. Hey, good job, Larry. Slum Village became my favorite rappers while I was recording this album. You know, I was playing a lot of their shit and a lot of um, Al shit. Boom, I heard the beat. I said, like, we gotta get Slum Village on this. I reached out, they with me, it was love and it was organic. What Big Sean say? If you ain't getting richer every year, then you just backwards <laughs> hustling. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? The work kind of starts now. Yep. You know what I mean? Yep. Because we already saw how it performed. People were like, you know, the feedback is good. But sometimes I feel like, especially with this project and with Larry, I'm like, how far can we push it? Yeah. Can let's go even further. You know what I mean? And I feel like that with this record in particular and, and with his trajectory as an artist. Yeah. Like I always tell you that, like you're, you're gonna keep going. So I feel like, let's see how far we can push this. We outside, we outside tonight. We outside, he wants to go outside tonight. I was in the studio with him every day, probably 10 hours. You know what I'm saying? And he, you know, he taught me, man, that consistent, like just being in the environment, just, I met a lot of people and just like putting that work in every day. So it, it went from three hours to, uh, to like 10. People think it get easier as you go, but you know what I mean? If you want to have a real, career like even out like he in the game for years and he come back 30 years in the game and spitting verses got kids 15 years old singing alone that's legendary to me i know i could learn from people younger than me like even being around larry i picked up a lot from obviously like business and being smart and health shit, but like really like even how he records you know like I, i'm more old school you know early studio but larry he he, he's, a, he's a runner and gunner. Like he could set up shop anywhere and record. I feel like I might be OD with the working and he knows how to live a little more. So I'm yeah. giving him a little of the work and he's giving me a little of the live a little. <laughs> I feel yeah. like that's maybe what it's, the trade is. So I'm yeah. like, all right, maybe I'm working a little too much. You take some of that and give me some of that living. Yeah, and yeah, yeah. We'll meet in the middle. Yeah. So that's why we've been moving around Come on this Come hand album. in hand for real, for yeah. real, for sure. Drink a juice in the morning, calculator, huh? He's a real example of word of mouth. Like Larry's fans, like everywhere we go, they pop up on him and they, they, they feel compelled to tell him who the person is who introduced them to their music. Yo, my man Joe went to school with, yo, my, my friend at work, and now I love your It's really, you could see like the power of, yeah. it, it was organic, literally, like he built his up from people loving the music, loving him, and the music being a byproduct of it. And I think it's the authenticity. But you, 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 you the same way though. 
I tried, but you, you know, staying authentic. And I think, you know, like I always tell him, people love him. You still building in this shit. That's the um, beauty of it. That's why I was talking to you on action last night. I thought I was high. But I was like, nah, like y'all really went to these different countries and building hand to hand. I'm Annabelle. Treat this shit out the trunk. I'm bouncing out on toes. Zoop, 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 zoop. One for you, one for you. Listeners going up and shit. Good job, listeners. You know what I'm saying? I'm almost at a four ball. Four M skis. Like that? I'm trying to be seven like you, though. He's seven ball. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Yee -hee. Good job, Spotify. <laughs> Me and him working on a project. Hey, we welcome. Rapping out? Yeah, like, we'll see. Yeah. We'll see, you know. Yeah. Larry's always working, I'm always working. <laughs> you know what hey. Scoop, scoop, hey. scoop, scoop, scoop. Put it in, you know what I'm saying? Shout out to Spotify, everybody who's supporting the album. The Great Escape, out right now, man, everywhere. I love y'all, appreciate y'all. Hey, hey.